YouTube, so um, 2021 is almost over, so I wanted to make a quick video on the best of 2021. So I want to share my um, favorite things from this year, whether it be a game, maybe uh, gaming news, uh, stuff that happened, figures, uh, things like that, you know, not completely unrelated to gaming, but gaming, but not necessarily just games. So I'll also be talking about what I thought about things, what I've been up to and things like that. Maybe New Year's resolution that I really never do uh, because I would forget about it anyways. <laughs> but yeah, so starting off with games, uh, honestly this year was I think the worst year for me. I didn't play almost anything. Um, I think each year I'm playing less and less. There is like maybe during one week every now and then I would play a lot like when I finished uh, Super Metroid I guess that was good I fi finally played Super Metroid or any Metroid game I hadn't played anything before and I did make a video about it um, that was a nice experience but other than that I really don't remember much <laughs> like I get mixed up on what I played this year and the last year and the la year before it because it's not like I've been gaming a whole lot um, there wasn't a huge game that impressed me so much that stuck with me. I haven't played Shimami Tensei 5, so it's not gonna be on the list anyways. But um, I do want to mention a couple of games that I did enjoy this year, but they didn't come out this year, so they're not new. And I've already talked about these games um, a couple of times on my other videos, but recently I've been playing a lot of uh, rhythm games because I consider them similar to be like puzzle, similar to puzzle games or maybe fighting games where you can just pick up and play a couple of minutes, uh, maybe half an hour, maybe one hour, and then just drop it whenever you want because each game is short, you know, it's like four minutes or so maybe, or maybe less depending on the song or the game. So I've been playing that and this year's highlight for me was Pump It Up. So this is a Korean rhythm game similar to Dance Dance Revolution if you are familiar with that because I think Dance Dance Revolution is so much more popular uh, especially nowadays and so I bought the arcade you know um, dance pad thingy the metal one with the handle and everything so I can play at home and I've been enjoying that a lot. I play it not every day because it's a um, physical thing, you know, it's not like you sit down and get a controller and just play it. You can be uh, relaxed. It's like you have to be well rested and have energy to play and that doesn't happen every day. <laughs> so I don't play it every day, but I do use it, you know, frequently. And I've been practicing different songs on it. And also I go to the arcades to play with my friends. So that's another positive thing. Like it adds to the experience when you are playing something with someone else, not just on your own. Honestly, um, I'm very used to playing by myself because most of the games that I used to play anyways are RPGs, JRPGs or offline games that you can play on your own without, you know, com like, um, communicating or interacting with other people online and I still prefer those games but with games like these it's very like it's a lot of fun and it's also for me a lot of fun to see myself improve even if it's just a little because I suck at like physical stuff I've always been bad at sports I'm very slow at running I'm very um I'm not how I'm not sure what the name of this is in English in Japanese it's pretty easy to say but uh, there are people who are just not gifted with uh, physical like movement uh, coordination those type of things so I thought I would suck at it and I don't think I'm good at it but at least I can see myself improving with improving up to a point which is good um, that's why I keep playing it. Also, it helps me with my depression and lack of exercise. I mean, I do exercise almost every day with weights and stuff like that. But still, anything uh, extra that I can have fun doing, which I used to do this with uh, Ring Fit Adventure. I kind of replaced Ring Fit Adventure with Pump It Up now, I guess. Anything like that for me is very good because you know, I enjoy gaming, but sometimes <laughs> I like exercising. I want to like you know, get my stress out of the body and exercising is one of the only ways that I can do that with. 
So combining gaming and exercise has been a lot of help for me uh, with my mental health and probably my physical health, I mean just my health overall, <laughs> so yeah. So it was like a big game for me this year. I think I started playing in summer, maybe like September or August, I don't really remember. But it hasn't been like the whole year and I can still see myself improving, so. So yeah, I keep, I mean, if, even if you don't improve, it's not like you have to improve, you can just play it, you know, and have fun with it, so. <laughs> so yeah, um, it was a great game for me this year and I'll be doing a review on it, you know, later. And I already talked about this in like a complete video, but I really enjoyed the Game Pass and the streaming services for gaming or a subscription service for gaming because, you know, uh, before I had the Xbox, I only tried, I only had PlayStation and the Switch and the online services are you know, they're okay. The PlayStation Plus is better than the Switch Online, but it's not like they give you a lot of stuff. And most of the games that they give you for PlayStation Plus have been... It wasn't good for me, at least. Those are not the types of games that I want to play. So we weren't even, like, subscribed to it anymore. I used to enjoy when we had the PlayStation 3 and the Vita. Well, I still have it, but when they were adding games for those, um, <clears throat> for those systems, because I did play those. But nowadays with the, you know, games that they've been adding, we decided to cancel the subscription because we don't really play online either on the PlayStation 5. It's not like, you know, we play a lot of games on there anyways. But after we got the Xbox and got the Game Pass, it's like a game changer. <laughs> a game changer for me at least because I've been able to try out games that, you know, you I wouldn't try out uh, normally or I've discovered games th there that I wouldn't have bought uh, if it wasn't free, I mean if it wasn't there to try out. So yeah, we played, or at least my husband and I have played several games like Children of Morta and those two types of like co-op games are hard to come by, at least for us anyways because we used to play games like uh, Don't Start Together or Terraria but we stopped playing because I think Don't Start Together, we have it on PlayStation 4, 5, 4, sorry, 3, 4, <laughs> PlayStation. And uh, we stopped playing, we could play it again, I guess. Uh, but Terraria, we have it on like almost all, uh, all the consoles. But for some reason, the last time we got it on the Switch, it didn't work online. Um, we were playing it with another friend me on the Switch Lite and my husband on the regular Switch and like we couldn't connect together. We tried different combinations, you know, my friend making the server, uh, us trying to go there, it didn't work or sometimes it will work and I don't know what happened, it just stopped working so we stopped playing that. But you know, we enjoyed those types of games where it's co-op with RPG elements and things to do. So yeah, uh, the most recent one that we've been playing was um, Archvale, I think that's how you pronounce it, and it's been pretty cool. Uh, we haven't played much of it, we only played it like for one, once, one day, and we've been advancing through it little by little, but you know, games like those we wouldn't have tried out if it, if, like we wouldn't have bought it just for that, because there have been games where they have co-op and we just didn't like it that much, so yeah, it's been pretty cool to be able to try out games like that. And I have also personally enjoyed games like uh, Slay the Spire, 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 <laughs> Spire. And um, that game I was interested in playing, but I really didn't feel like buying it because I wasn't sure if it was gonna be good. But yeah, with the Game Pass, I was able to try it and it was really good. <laughs> I couldn't finish it, it was hard. Like, um, I'm very bad at it. Also, games that we already own on other consoles, for example, Dead Cells, uh, we already have it on Switch, physical. But um, since it was on Game Pass, I decided to give another try because I don't remember why I stopped playing. I thought it was a little bit hard, but when I started playing on the Game Pass, Xbox, um, it seems like I enjoyed it more, maybe because of the load times and things like that, because on the Switch, it, it wasn't like, okay, you died and then let's go again. It took a little bit to load, you know, it's, it's a little bit slow on that end. 
So I was able to enjoy games that I've already played before that I dropped uh, some games like that, you know. So yeah, Game Pass was a huge part of my gaming life this year. <laughs> And as for Shin Megami Tensei 5, I haven't bought it because I want to get the Japanese limited edition and I don't want to pay full price because I know that it's gonna drop uh, like it did with uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3. I paid full price for that and I kind of regret it. So I don't want to go through that again and I'm in no rush to play it. So yeah, when I do play it, I will talk about it probably even if it's like next year, you know, who cares? <laughs> so yeah. Uh, but I did enjoy like the whole excitement and the wait for the game to get released. Everybody was talking about it, but at the same time, I was kind of annoyed that the official, you know, Atlas was posting so much about it all of a sudden. Like, like where they were showing like a single demon every day. It's like, um, okay, that's a little bit too much. Now I don't want to see this every day. <laughs> so it was fun for a while, but I it got a little bit. Uh, old after that until the game released, you know, and I did watch reviews without spoilers and I kind of know how the game is uh, Already, so I'm excited to play it. But yeah, I, I, I need to get the game before I can talk about it more <laughs> As for figures this year has been good year for figures at least for myself. I've collected so many figures now I, I think I already have most of the figures that I wanted from before that I missed out on um, because I don't want to pay premium for stuff that I missed out on, honestly. Especially for figures, because if you think about it, a game, you have an old game, maybe Super Nintendo game, and Nintendo game, I don't know. But although some are super expensive, like $300, you know, it's, if it's only one, you can kind of save and afford it if you really want it. But it's a, if it's a figure, there are figures like 400, 500 bucks, and it's not cheap from the beginning like a figure costs over a hundred dollars i mean recently every figure cost over a hundred dollars so if you miss out on it and it goes up in price it's like at least 200 300 dollars each um and usually it's not only one so it's kind of hard to collect for things you missed out on that's why i always pre-order things i want now unless i'm pretty sure that it's not gonna go out of stock um, but recently I've been able to, you know, save up and buy stuff that I missed out on. So I'm happy for that or, you know, at least find a good deal. I, like when I was getting all these figures, I was, um, searching for it like every day on, you know, different websites so that I can get a bit good price because I don't want to pay more than I have to. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of happy with where I am at now. I don't think I'll be buying things that I'm not really interested in like I used to before. Like last year, I think I bought so much stuff. Well, part of this year too. I bought a lot of stuff that I wasn't really planning to buy just because they were cheap and you know, you know how it goes. Um, I'm, I have stopped doing that because I don't have any space any, anyways. So yeah, there are some figures that I still do want to get, but I'm not sure when. It's not that important, but at least for now, I'm done with collecting figures. Uh, I will be pre-ordering things that I'm interested in, but other than that, I don't think I'll be picking up stuff that I missed out on because they're way too expensive. <laughs> but my favorite figure this year, I don't know. Uh, like, I don't have one. I think I'm gonna have to say it's gonna be this figure that I'm showing you guys now from Muramasa, the Demon Blade. Um, this, these sets of figures are very beautiful, like they, and they weren't that expensive. I've seen, I've gotten more expensive figures, like which are smaller and less quality, less details, but I'm really happy that I got these. Um, I think they're very beautiful. I know that YouTube is gonna be like, oh no, nudity, oh no, booty, so I'm gonna be hiding those details here, but they're very beautiful figures. I'm happy I got them and I'm happy with my Atlas shelf, kind of. And as for uh, anime, manga, series like that, I don't know. Like this year was very bad because there weren't that many good stuff coming out because of COVID. Everything got delayed, I think. Um, I think Made in Abyss was supposed to come out this year and it didn't. It's coming out next year. <sighs> and I was waiting and waiting for that. But we did get some good series like 
uh, fruits basket ended I think this year. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, I love that series. I'm happy that we finally got to see the ending in anime format because the original anime didn't, you know, really end. Uh, didn't really explain much. So yeah. Um, other than that, I really enjoyed... Well, it's still airing, so it's not enjoyed. I'm enjoying uh, Osama Ranking, which is, I think it was a webcomic, web manga. I've already read through some of the episodes. I think before it was announced that it was going to have an anime adaptation, I used to read it, but then I stopped for some reason. I completely forgot about the series, and they announced it. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to go back and read it again. But I don't remember how far in. And I, so I think I might just read everything. <laughs> There's this boy who's supposed to be a prince. His dad is like a giant. He's super strong. He's very big, you know. And um, the boy is very weak. He can't pick up heavy stuff. He's mute. He's deaf. And everybody makes fun of him, like, because, you know, he can't talk or he can't hear. So, anyways, so the boy meets this monster or this shadow looking thing who's supposed to be a from a family of assassins and he meets him outside of the castle and the monster kind of um asks him to bring him like valuable stuff so he can sell them make money off of it and stuff and um they kind of become friends because the boy is a nice boy and the monster is like not mean you know <laughs> he steals stuff from other people to survive but he's a nice guy i guess and they meet and stuff happen and i can't really tell you much but it, currently on the series the boy and the monster went out on a training session so that the boy can become strong to become the next king because yeah <laughs> if I say more, it's like a spoiler, so I can't. But it looks like the series for a kid, a kid. You know, it looks like it's for kids, but it has lots of blood and lots of sad and heavy stories. The deep story, heavy moments, so I don't think it's for kids. <laughs> it's one of those series, but it's really good. Um, I'd recommend you to watch it if you haven't. I think it's the best series airing right now. And of course, we did have Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6 airing on Netflix right now. I already watched the whole thing. Um, part 6 is the only part where I, I didn't read the anime. I, I mean, didn't read the anime. Didn't read the manga. I completely skipped it because... I don't know. Uh, I read so much Jojo at once that I got tired of it. And that's the part that I skipped. I skipped through half of uh, Part 5 in the manga. I skipped through the whole whole story of part 6 and then I went to Steel Ball Run because it was different. <clears throat> I was kind of getting tired, you know, with the stands and like the whole story. So I skipped to Steel Ball Run. I read that and then I read uh, Jujolian. So um, yeah, it's kind of interesting to watch a series, watch Jojo with story that I don't even know what gonna happen you know because on the other ones I already knew what was gonna happen and part five I already knew what was gonna happen until halfway this one I'm going in completely blind I kind of know who's gonna die and things like that because it's an old series there's lots of information online there memes so you can't avoid that but yeah it's pretty good um I wish there were more episodes because I watched it in like two days um now, I don't even know when the next part is coming out, but I hope soon. And I think that's about it for anime. I've been watching Pokemon and series like that that's airing like, you know, forever. <laughs> it's more like a habit of, oh yes, it's uh, Saturday or Sunday, let's watch Pokemon <laughs> because it's cute. Um, and yeah, I know so many people don't like the new Pokemon series, but I enjoy it. Anyways, I think that's it. As for New Year's resolution, I don't know. I think I'm gonna say I'll try to um, do more stuff. I'll try to make more videos like I used to before because this year I've had less energy, less time in general to do them. I feel like since I didn't play that much, I didn't have much to talk about on videos. 
uh, YouTube videos. So uh, this year, the coming year, I do want to play a little bit more. Now that you know, I have access to so much stuff via Game Pass and every other medium, um, digital gaming, whatever. I do want to play a little bit more, try out games that I missed out on, that I'm interested in. Maybe um, buy games that I want to have in my collection if possible. So yeah, let me know what you guys did this year. What did you guys enjoy the most this year? What are you waiting for next year? I do hope that you guys have a nice holiday season, nice Christmas, whatever. I'm, I'm going to be still making more videos during this month. So I'm not gonna say like, okay, have a happy new year because I'm gonna be back next week talking about something else anyways. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.